Hello and welcome to another bike and another restoration. This is a personal friend's bike. Gareth Jones is his name and pedalling was his game. I do have an image of Gareth on this very bike winning a club race, so a great reference to work with. And uh, yes, who's Frank Herity? Well, a frame builder in the northwest of England, actually in my hometown here in Stockport, and he also built frames for the company Ribble Cycles, um, which are also based in the northwest, up near Preston uh, by the river Ribble. Um, he also had a son, John Herity, who was a pro cyclist, and he then became the Great Britain team manager. Unfortunately though, Frank Herity is no longer with us, but we do have one of his beautiful frames in the garage here to share with you and it needs some special loving. So let's delve in and have a closer look at exactly what the bike is. We've got a dual race rear mech here at the back end and we've got some lovely Columbus dropouts, so very nice frame indeed. We've got a Campagnolo crank set, some nice look pedals, I think they're actually deltas and we've got some simplex gear levers. Um, 105 aero levers, I don't think in the original image it had aero levers at all. But I do know it had the Modolo white calipers on, uh, so they're still on there in the original. We've got a Campagnolo seat post and we've got this black and grey seat. I don't think that's original or in keeping. Uh, Gareth did actually tell me that he used to have a white turbo saddle, so that could be on the shopping list for sure. Um, we've got a nice Sinelli handlebars and stem and these wheels aren't original, they're definitely an upgrade or been put on uh, since. So yes, we may be looking at replacing the wheel set. But if you watch these videos, you'll generally know that we strip these bikes down. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get this bike stripped down. has been an utter nightmare. Not only was the pedal arm and crank on really tight, I really thought they were seized, managed to get them off, um, then I had the handlebar stem, uh, that was completely and utterly seized into the forks. I got the forks and the stem in the vise, and basically um, I've had some forks and actually some leverage uh, with the bar. I got it to actually slightly creak, and uh, unfortunately what I've had to do is completely butcher the Sinelli stem so I've just cut that there just to actually get them free for the time being so there for the bin, the handlebars aren't, just need to find a stem and we've got the uh, forks here still with the stem part in here. Um, so we've got loads to be cleaning, we've probably got a new handlebar stem for sure to find and maybe even some forks. Uh, the frames are all intact and that's all in good order and we've got all the parts in here to clean. I don't think it's been serviced at all in probably 20-30 years at least. So, loads to be getting on with. Let's get on with cleaning these parts, sourcing another handlebar stem and maybe finding some new forks. With so much work needed to be done to the frame, we sent it off to our good friend Mark at MR Creations. Thank you. 
Don't they sound amazing? These are replacement wheels. We've got some tubular rims with some Continental Gumwall tyres on and we've got Campagnolo record hubs. They sound and run beautifully. So very excited that I've got these. If you remember, the bike had some black rims on, more modern rims. These are more in keeping with the period of the bike itself. The frame, well, that's here. We've got that back off mark and doesn't it look absolutely stunning? He really has done an amazing job on this. We've used him before, really do trust the guy and uh, yes, I can't praise this man enough. The frame itself had a few dents in and scratches um, on the actual paintwork itself. With the fading, I really felt as though it was above my ability. So I've trusted in him to actually get involved with the restoration and he really has put it back on track. We've got the group set on the side there. That all needs polishing. It's been degreased, so we're going to be polishing that in a minute. And we've got that replacement Sinelli stem. So I've got some handlebars to wrap. Um, we've also got a few more items to find and that all important water bottle. But it's picking up pace now, so hold on tight. We've got plenty to be getting on with. We have arrived, it's the rebuild. We've got a couple of extra items. I've changed the brake calipers. I did have some nice chrome Shimano 600 brake calipers available to me. So I've used them, we're going to use them and all the group sets on the side, they're all polished. If you are interested in how to polish metal, we do have a dedicated video to watch just up there. But yes, that looks more like silverware. We've got the handlebars wrapped, the wheels in the background there, and the frame looks amazing. So I can't wait to get this bike back together. We've also purchased a brand spanking new uh, turbo saddle, which is what he had originally on the bike um, when he had it on the picture itself. So hopefully this will bring back some nice memories. We've got the water bottle, you have to wait and see for that. And I've also, going to change it for some nice white and black Delta look pedals. So that should go a bit more in keeping with the actual colour scheme itself. Um, everything's all ready to go. Um, also as well, I kept hold of the original chain just so I could uh, measure up and get the exact length that was on it. So yes, we're all ready to go. It shouldn't be too much hassle at all. Let's say all the preparation is done. So let's get this bike back together and crack on. Wow, well, what a result. It looks absolutely brand new. What a beautiful, stunning race bike this is. And a big thank you to Mark from MR Creations for doing the paintwork, because without him, we really wouldn't have this finish. So yes, what a journey it's been compared to when the bike first came in. I am really am impressed, and I can't wait to give it back to its owner. We do finish these builds off with a water bottle. I do have one just down here, very in keeping. We've used one of these before, very retro. So let's pop it in and finish it off. The finishing touch. Well, we do normally finish these builds off with a ride. However, because this is going back to its owner and is it such A1 condition, what I'm going to do is take it down to a local park. So please join me and we'll have a closer look at the bike. 
Well, this bicycle restoration is one I will not forget. What a journey it has been from when the bike first came in with rust and also that seized handlebar stem that I had to butcher, it now looks like a brand spanking new bike. I can't wait to give it back to its rightful owner. I think I've done the right decision in regards to taking it out for a ride. It's very cold today, the sun is out, but there is ice on the road. So we've come down to the local park just to take a few photographs before we hand it back and to give you guys a couple of tips on taking photographs. The bike itself, well, we've got the sun behind us, so we've got some good lighting. Just make sure that we get the drive side of the bike itself, get nice and low and up close to all the components, especially the cassette and the rear derailleur. Take photographs of as many components as possible to show the buyer or whoever as much detailing of the bike as you can. I do hope that these videos give you some inspiration, some hints and tips, and I really do enjoy doing what I do. There's no better way to cycle than on a recycled bicycle. If you are interested in visiting our website, we've got lots of hints and tips on there as well. That's at bikeituk.club. Other than that, then thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and until next time, bye for now.